sex magic today. We're going to tell you all about how to do sex and magic. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is manifest with sexual energy. How to? Fucking hell. You've heard of the secret. You've heard of the devil. You've see, seen all those cult movies where people are riding and those people watching them. And I've always been like, yeah, grand. They're perverse, but why do they keep doing this? And it turns out it's to do with uh, manifest with sexual energy. So it's kind of like the secret. It's kind of like... I can go into, I'm going to go firstly into how it works uh, and then I'm going to look into the history behind it and so on. So famous lads like Alistair Crowley, Rasputin, that Russian lad are in, big into this. Uh, loads of lads, you see Satanists and all this stuff, they're usually doing it. You, know, you see them having sex and stuff, this is why, why they're doing it. Alright, so it's uh, the psychology behind it, I don't know, I haven't looked, looked it up but we're going to look it up in a minute. Uh, my theory, anyway, is it's just basic, um, if you're shocking someone, like going, wah, tasing someone, it's like bad energy, it's like, oh, I won't do that again. It's to do a positive association. So, if, um, okay, in a drug, in a drug dealer, if this was a drug dealer thing, alright, uh, someone, they're having sex with them and they're like, right, give them a drug or whatever beforehand. They're gonna feel really, really good. Okay, okay. Here's here's how. Here's an example of how it works. All right. Uh, there was a prostitute in France, and every time someone there was a lot of competition for different prostitutes and all these this thing. Uh, so a lad would come, have sex with her, and just before they would have sex, she would put marijuana in his tea. All right. So that way he was he would feel like way higher than any other prostitute in the place. And the only way he could get high off weed or whatever was by going to her. But he didn't even know that he was getting high off weed. It was just he was getting spiked or whatever. And there's loads of su more subtle ways of doing this. Like, for example, like lighting candles. All these different things to put people on different, uh, in different mind states, different peak states and so on. You can either use drugs or meditation to go to peak states and prolong peak states. Or um, all sorts of different things. Okay, okay, okay. So, what I'm trying to say is this, my theory, before I actually look into exactly how it works, is it's basically like when you say to a dog, sit, and then they do the action, and then they get the treat. Alright? So what you're doing is associating uh, your goal with positivity. So if you're associating uh, the leaving cert, or whatever the fuck you're into. <laughs> uh, Every time you have sex, you're like, oh fuck, I'm gonna, do, uh, I fucking love studying because uh, it's getting me closer to get my 600 points on, on the leaving cert. If you just think that every single time you're fucking jizzing your balls off, uh, it associates studying with positivity, alright? Because a lot of things have to do with avoidance. Why don't I want to study? Because I don't want to uh, sit in a room for long hours by myself just to go in the next day and get given out to buy the second teacher and parents and everyone's just giving out to me all the time and what's the point and all this stuff because you can't see the big picture you can't see woo! humanity if you're looking on your arm humanity has only been there for like the size of your elbow like the, the, the elbow joint or whatever it's it's been going on since your shoulder down to your elbow uh, you're only there for a little bit of your elbow and it's going to keep going on without you like, regardless of climate change, regardless of what this Greta person has to say about things, the world's going to keep going after we're gone, uh, and so on. People have been going on, what, what confused me about this whole Greta thing is, people have been going on about climate change <laughs> since, for 20 years or something, and now people have finally figured out how to make profit off climate change, and now they're like, right, get some kid in there, fucking blonde joke, Grand pusher. Uh, they pump a load of money behind her, corporate money on the on the hush hush conspiracies. And then they go right. Oh, this can make us sell new cars because they'd be like, right, we're doing the okay. Because cars, the car market has more money going through it than most countries, even successful. Uh, it's, there, it's the car market. Ford and the boys are is its own economic economy. There's this. Oh jeez, I'm getting way into conspiracies, aren't I? Uh, as a be, yeah, yeah, and that's why the government's constantly going on about tax, road things, inspection things. It's its own economy by itself, and ah, uh, 
<laughs> Red pill, big brain. <laughs> Red pill, big brain's a lot of shit, man. Anyway, so listen, where are we? We're talking about fucking sexual energy job. Um, all right. So I was looking. So that's basically how it works. All right. It's just to do it. Uh, a lot of the downfall of uh, of your own uh, problems or whatever is to do with fear and fear is to do with yada 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 so if you associate something like reading this big book with uh, positivity so every time you have sex about to orgasm you fucking start reading the book and you're like oh fuck it. you're gonna associate this book every time you touch it, you're gonna be like fucking orgasm you're like oh jesus because it's that association now i know this sounds absolutely bullshit but you can work your if i squeeze my left hand oh shit it still works you can train yourself all right if i squeeze my left hand i just start smiling which is i know sounds absolutely fucking bonkers but this is called triggers because humans are completely programmable we just tend to stick to the programming we have uh, been given in the first seven years and after the first seven years, wait, after the first, is it after the first seven years, after the, f after the first seven years you're raised by your peers, I can, sorry I can't remember the exact, I'm paraphrasing a lot of mumbo jumbo psychotherapy fucking Jordan Peterson and the boys, uh, <laughs> so listen, they all have their own agenda and who knows if I'm right. Uh, but fact check me baby I would I'd love it I would love it and I don't I don't mean that in an arrogant way I just mean I want I would love if you could add uh, to the conversation because I'd love to fucking jeez jeez that's mad that's how sex magic works you know what I mean because it's fucking it's interesting stuff so listen uh, Rasputin um, he was living in some poor village or whatever in Russia sorry I'm not, I'm not well up on these things no, sorry, Rasputin. Yeah, right. Ra, ra, Rasputin. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, he's living in the fucking woods. And uh, he's... He's a very sensitive human being. And uh, he went to the woods, started doing all this sex magic and shit. And then he started, walked on to... I'm really paraphrasing. Walked on to the Tsar's gaff, the King's gaff. And ended up being an advisor to the King and all this stuff. The Tsar, as they call him in Russia. And I'm really paraphrasing, but yeah. So you got Rasputin and the boys, and then uh, who's the other lad? Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley is another lad who's in sex magic. And uh, he was just a regular lad, uh, like Vegan Stephen in the shed, like he was just a regular lad. So he went around to Trinity College uh, in Dublin, he went around to all the colleges and everywhere. And he was looking for all these secret societies, like you know, you know, you hear the, all this. Uh, it's all in, the, in all the fucking movies, like ooh, secret societies. What's going on? Ooh. You think of that? What's that? The what's that? Eyes wide shut by uh, Stanley Kubrick. Suspiciously, Stanley Kubrick died halfway through. It's suspicious. No, that's just that's just paranoia. Um, so listen, lads. It's very easy to get emotionally caught up in these things and all go, oh, the world's against us. No, the world's not against you. It's just habits that happen in human nature you can just look at an anthill or, or anthem there's certain kind of habits that happen and the left can tell the i'm kind of jumping the, the far left can tell the future but the far right i don't know who knows who knows who knows sonia rasputin uh was mad for this sex energy. He was a, he was, people called him a sex addict. He used to hang out in bathhouses and have a lot of people ride each other and, do, and have a lot of people orgies and all this shit. Um, but why were they having these orgies? Is it just because they liked having sex? Maybe, maybe. All right, so we're gonna have a look. How to manifest anything you want using sexual energy. Oh my God. So I explained my theory on you know, the psychology behind why it would work. It's basically to do with positive association of a thing. All right. <coughs> So that's it. Alright, that's all. You can think of it as uh, horses. Why do people like going on horses? Because there's fucking... It's that... This is sex and You can just say, oh no, I really like horses. It's nothing to do with sex. There's a reason why people really like being on horses. And it might have something to do with grinding, even if they don't think it. It's like, it's like oh, I like this feeling subconsciously. It must be because I'm with a horse. You associate positive energy with a horse. Meanwhile, you don't know it's because your vagina's getting rubbed. And who knows? This is a bit Freudian. And Freudian's kind of like a, wasn't it like an amateur 
psychologist or something and then everyone copied his ideas and who knows who's right they're just theories all right who knows who knows i like going on horses but i fell off and i'm a bit scared all right that's the only thing i know about horses everything else is a bit theoretical um geez horses are big aren't they oh man the last time i went on a farm it must have been two years ago <laughs> I was hanging out with these farmers and me being me, I just was like, I'll show these farmers what to do. Like, And they were like, city boy, wah, city boy, wah. They thought that I was hilarious because I was throwing shapes. I was like, I'm being stable, I'll do what the fuck I want. Show me the fucking, show me the fucking cow, I'll bull the fucking rest of myself. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. And they were like, oh, this lad is a fucking dope. They saw straight through me. They saw I was a fucking pub talker con man fucking full time waffle cake they they could also see I was the king of consistency and they were not debating that they knew I had the number one vegan podcast they were like listen how many pairs of vegan Stephen underpants can I take get off you and I said listen for you 100 each now I'm a madman and they're normally 150 I'm, a, I'm going crazy just take them off me now just, I'm going to regret this in the morning fucking just take them just take them, 100 a pop. Friend rates, all right? Don't tell anyone else though, li listeners, because that's just between me, you, and the good Lord. Praise Allah. All right, here we go. Manifesting sex energy. So anyway, there I was in the, I was there with the horses. Um, now, keep in mind, I, didn't, I don't know a thing about horses. All I know, how, all I knew how to do was just pretend. I'm, I'm kind of good at pretending I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna hit the, we're gonna hurt these horses." I was like, "No bother, I'll do that." And they're like, "Vegan Stephen, have you ever, <laughs> have you ever heard a horse before?" And I was like, "Nah, it's grand. Their, their horses are. It's fine. I'm, a, I'm the fucking animal whisper. Don't worry about it." <laughs> Because I like I'm good with cats and dogs, so I was like, what's the difference? If you grant. And how wrong was I? <laughs> oh my lord. So uh yeah, there's me, throwing shapes. Uh in the country, hanging out with people. These lads I was hanging around with are actually like full time like horse herders. I don't know the proper name of them. They break in horses, I think is the term they call. Um Hey you break in horses, you make them run around in circles, they run out of energy and you break their will. How fucking awful is that? Breaking a horse is breaking its will. And then you can, once a horse is broken, as in, you're breaking the fucking will of the horse. How fucking horrendous is that? You're breaking the will of the horse, you can then sit up on top of it and it won't kick you off because it's become submissive. Its will has been broken. Oh my Jesus. Isn't that fucking, isn't that just like, that's what I'm talking about, the whole pyramid thing. All right, you got the horse herder on top, and then you got the lads who will have been broken underneath them, and then underneath that horse whose will has been broken is the other horse, the ponies whose will has been broken. They're gonna grow up have more. That's what I'm talking about. The, this pyramid of power, and I don't know why people keep having the pyramid upside down, but that must be some kind of communisty thing or power back into the people, or I don't know how the fuck it works. I'm still learning how the all what all this crack is with the pyramids. Yesterday I was like, oh fuck, the world's ended and I discovered how the world works. But luckily, they figured it out millions of years ago. There's a fucking formula for beauty which I put in the last episode. Um, so thank fuck, I'm not as smart as I thought I was. Um, it turns out I'm actually a complete idiot. Uh, sometimes I go, oh my god, I'm a genius. But then the internet just goes, nah, you're a big fucking gobshot. Gobshot! Gobshite! And I go, oh, thank God. I'm not a deity. I'm just a humble lad. I can just, I can just play synthesizer today. Everyone's going to be all right. <laughs> so tell me, lads, tell me, will you be trying out uh, this sex magic? We're going to find out how to do it, man. Uh, I've already told you the theory of how to do it. We're going to actually look it up and find out um, how it is done. Okie dokie. How to guide and the history. Because uh, to be honest, Alistair Crowley may have done never ah oh, this shows you've ledge bags. Alistair Crowley may, may have never done any of this stuff because I'm just a pub talker, right? We're gonna find out. 
We're gonna find out. I don't really like looking at the internet while I'm doing this podcast because um, I feel it fucks, it fucks with my flow. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but we'll have a look. All right, so let's see what we got here. Some little articles. We've got medium.com. A lot of these things sound dodgy as fuck. I'm just going to tell you that now. But this is what the the secret and a lot of other things talk about. All right, anyway, just listen. We'll get into it. This is before they had science, so this is what people used to get up to. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's talk. Manifest with sexual energy, truth, intuitions. Okay, they sound like truth, truth and intuitions. That's like saying uh, fake fact. Now better than actual facts. <laughs> I'm sure they're more entertaining, but. Yeah, I don't know. Sex magic. Manifest your dream life using your sexual energy. All right, I'm fine. To be honest, <sighs> no fap. Day fifteen. Sexual energy is a magnet for dot dot dot, and it has some girl and all the rest of it. All right. How to manifest? I'm just I'm just typed into Google and just reading up what fucking comes up. I know what I want, but I'm just having a look at like what what the first few things are. Uh, why your sexual energy lacking t dot TV? Use sexual energy manifesting. Why use your sexual energy for manifesting? Uh, okay, so some people talk about this in the form of no fap, which is a different thing. That's That's to do with testosterone levels and your force and your will throughout the universe, which is, it's very similar-ish, but I'm talking about, my interpretation was building association. So these people are talking about a different thing. Okay, I'm just going to stick to what the internet says just because I've had my opinion. And this is my fucking show, if you don't like to get your own show. <laughs> this is definitely, lads, this is your last chance. Put the earphones in now, because this, this show is going to get fucking bonkers. If it hasn't already got fucking absolutely willy wonkers, like, it's about to get off the fucking chain, like. We're looking up sex magic here. Uh, changes your encodements, your DNA, your life, books.google. Oh, Jesus. Uh, how to use sex magic to manifest your best self. Teen Vogue. Oh, Jesus. Here's, here's the thing, right? I feel horrible looking at Teen Vogue, just seeing the fucking word Teen Vogue. And, but they wrote a fucking article in it, and they're, they're I don't know, they're selling sex to... Well, maybe they're 19, who fucking knows? I don't know. I'm very confused about these moral things. Anyway, sure look. The lines keep changing. Keep moving the goalposts, what's going on? I can't keep up. Manifest your dreams into reality, uh, we have. Be sure, seal it on top of your head, sexual organs. Okay, I'm not getting out of that one. I'm going to try a different one here. Do 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 da 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 do 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 da ba 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 okay. Talking to the universe during orgasm. That's more exactly what I'm after. Spiritual sex, the art of multi-dimensional orgasm. Here we go. September, uh, Huff po who are these Huff Post lads? Uh, Entity, spirit, uh, when, when are they coming on the podcast? They're fucking vegan Stephen podcast dodgers. Name and shame, I'm only joking. Uh, it's huge deal in my field. Sex therapy and much has been said about the various Dysfunctions, DYS functions, but there is a way to shift out of this phenomenon. Fadarababa. Ah, oh, geez, we're getting into spirituality. Spirituality's fine as good. It's just, uh. We haven't got into, we haven't figured out how to prove shit. Alright, we're dropping names out of hats here like Yogi, Egyptian. Let's see what they have to say. So this is the Huff Post for slash energy than sexual energy of art, spiritual art of the multi-dimensional orgasm. 
Uh, well, I don't care. Like, I know how to to give them and all the rest of it. Well, I'm not really getting into that now. Uh, what I'm looking into is the relationship that it means in the universe and all that shit. Oh, my love. Conscious is loving, spiritual unicorn. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> spiritual unicorn, which is the elastic expanded experience producing altered states of consciousness it's empty em 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 the cosmic orgasm what a word cosmic orgasm that's the name of my next album cosmic orgasm the timeless boundless state of orgasmic waves move through all the energy centers cosmic orgasm can and does occur spontaneously to anyone but as a practice it can replenish the life force which release through the crown of the head oh whoa jesus what's going on here what is going on here holy flip-flops all right what is happening here? So this this is like if you get into one of these cults in Trinity College and all the rest of it, this is like the end of the book. Like this is like the answer to the end of the book. It's it's sex magic. Um so Yep. Oxycotton. That's not a good word to be there. Um say no to oxycotton kids. Uh, Alright, we're going to keep looking, we're going to keep digging, we're going to keep digging. Sex magic, sometimes spell this. Okay, we got sex magic, which is Wikipedia, which is not really the thing. Uh, and then it goes into porn and people making fun of sex magic. But I want to get into actually like why people, why it's even a thing in the first place. So it's to do with trying to connect with the, the universe. Uh, sex ma- I just typed into the old Wikipedia job there. Sex magic. Okay, here we go. Sex, sometimes spelled sex magic, is some t <laughs> is, is some type of sexual activity used in magical, ritualistic, or otherwise religious and spiritual pursuits. Uh, one practice of sex magic is using sexual arousal or orgasm with visualization of desired results. A primus prosted by sex magicians is a concept that sexual energy is a po potent force that can be harnessed to transcend one's normality perceived reality. Oh, I'm, I'm understand. Like on, I kind of half. I like a, I like a third understand what they're talking about, and the other third I'm like, nah, I don't understand at all. So I must admit I am very intrigued. Tell me more. I'm 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 intrigued. Tell you have my attention. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh my lad. Uh. Sex magic, writings on sex magic, uh, works of Alistair Crowley and uh, L.I.B. or I of Alistair Crowley. Okay, so that's some books on the subject I don't really understand. Alright, I'll just see what that say about this Alistair Crowley letter. Um, is me... <laughs> Sorry. I was about to tell a joke and then I lost lost my balls. You gotta commit to these jokes if you're gonna tell a joke. Alistair Crowley be became involved with Theodore S. That's R E U S S and O R D O. That's Ordo Tempani T E M P I L I. Then the second name's like Orentius. O R I E N T I S. Following the publication of the Book of Lies between 1912, ooh, it's a good while ago, and 1913. According to Alistair, geez, my voice just broke. According to Crowley's account, Roos approached him with and accused him of having uh, revealed the innermost sexual secret of OTO. 
in one of the cryptic chapters of his book when it became clear to Roos and Crowley had done so unintentionally he anointed in it I N I T A T E D Crowley into the I X that's a Roman numeral ninth of O T O there, there that's like uh, O dot T dot O dot I can't remember the name for that it's not an acronym it's a uh, I can't remember and appointed him sovereign grand master general of Ireland what Southern Grand Master General of Ireland. What the what? What the fuck is this doing in Ireland? Southern Grand Master General of Ireland, comma Iona and all the Britons. Holy Jesus! This lad got all the Britons. I don't know what all the Britons means. It probably means they get Britain and a bit more. So this lad got all the Brit, all Britain. This lad took over Ireland. No one even knew. Jeez, fucking Michael Collins thought he was doing well. No, but don't. Michael Collins, get get out, Michael Collins. Get out, fucking Damon De Valera. Alistair Crowley's coming through. He's the fucking, what is he? The General of Ireland. The Grand Ma the Sovereign Grand General of Ireland. What an absolute pub talker. He's there standing in full pharaoh dress. The date is 1912. He must look stylish back then, God bless him. Fucking... Uh, lots of people love him like he's on the cover of the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Let's see if we can find him on the cover here. Oh! Oh! This is how you know when you're a hardcore Beatles fan, you got the fucking cover. Ready to go. Ha <laughs> right ha! a moment. Alright, let's see if we can find him. I think that's him there in the back. I, I think that's him there. I'm not sure if that's him or if that's some other lad. Um. Uh, we've got Edgar Allan Poe up there. Um, I think that's him there. There's the old Beatles there. We've got the marijuana plants in the back. Don't tell anyone. And um, Oh no, there's the weed. Yeah, they, they're saying they got to pass the sponsors by hiding. <laughs> they hit the weed down. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a good cover. It's a good cover for an album cover. Uh, Beatles. Um, 100 piece jigsaw. Still here. Still here. All right, let's go. Back to Mr. Alistair Crowley. Jeez, that's a fucking handy one. He's sovereign grand master of fucking something. And there's three references there, so you know they're. This is the Wikipedia job. Sex magic. Uh, Jeez, he got the Britons. I don't know. I'd love to know what the Britons are like. Is that everywhere run by the English arist aristocracy? Anyway. While the OTO included from its inception the teaching of sex magic in the highest degrees of the order. So that's kind of like when you pay all the money in Scientology, they may or may not show you sex magic. Who knows? When, I don't think they do, to be honest. I think they, they believe in spaceships and that. Yeah, anyway. It's all on the internet. Uh, while the OTO included its... Inception and teaching magic in the highest degrees of the order when Crowley became heard head of the order He explained on these teachings and associated them with different degrees as Follows oh, that's fucking handy. Oh shit V I I I I and um, that is a uh, Was that five six seven eight masturbatory or? Autosexual magical techniques were taught <laughs> <laughs> referred as the lesser work of Saul. Saul, I think, is son in Portuguese. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, next we have IX, which is four, I believe. If X is... Is X ten? It is nine. I can't remember my Roman numerals. So that maybe that's nine. Heterosexual sex m techniques were taught. And then we have made to XI, which might mean 11. Anal intercourse magical techniques were taught. Alright. Whatever you're into. Bit of slap and tickle. 
Uh, then we have next one. Professor Hugh Urban, Professor of the Com... Comparative Religion at the Idaho State University noted Crowley's emphasis on sex as the supreme magical power, according to Crowley. Jesus. Alright, fair play. Fair play. Uh, next, it has a little bit more. It says, a book of the law solves the sexual problem completely. Each individual has an absolute right to satisfy his sexual instinct is philosophically proper to him. The one injunction is to treat all such acts as sacraments. One should not eat as the brutes, B-R-U-T-E-S, but in order to enable one to do one's will. The same applies to, to sex. We must use every f faculty, F-A-C-U-L-T-Y, to further the one object of our existence. Hmm. 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 A lot of musicians are big fans of this lad. Uh, Alright, so there's a bit, there's further reading there if you want to get into that. Um. Sex magic. Jesus. All right. Uh, we got Maria D. Nakavolja. That's N. Uh, or Nakavolja is uh, N A G L O S K A. Guessing Polish. No, she's Russian. Nineteen. No, sorry. Eighteen eighty-three. Fucked it to nineteen thirty-six. Was a Russian. Occurlist, O C C U L I S T, mystic author, journalist who wrote and taught about sexual magic ritual practices while also being linked with the partisan, partisan, P A R I S A I N, surrealist movement. She established and led an occult society known as the Comafri C O. C O N F R E Father or I E De La Frege Flange Flange F L E Father C H E D or Brotherhood of the Golden Arrow in Paris nineteen thirty two to nineteen thirty five. In nineteen thirty one she complied, translated and published in French a collected published She's been dyslexic great crack. Uh, unpublished writing by American occultist uh, fuck, Parcival, P-A-S-C-H-A-L, Beverly Rudolph, on subject of sexual magic. The magic mirrors um, her translation and publication of Rudolph's previously little known ideas and teachings was the source of Rudolf's subsequent influence of European magic. She argued the text, what she claimed were some of his oral teachings. The following year, she published a semi-autobiographical novella, Le Ré Chaga Le Mois Chacouin, Scared Ritual of Love Magic. Later years, that year, she also published the Le Mois de Fson, The Light of Sex, Domestic Tenzi, a guide to sexual ritual magic that has required reading for those seeking to be enlightened into the Brotherhood of the Golden Arrow. Her later book on advanced sexual magic, Le Mission, Le Pison, the Hanging Mystery details her advanced teaching and third time Trinity Speechual Power of Sex. The practice of erotic ritual hanging. The other century desperation practices beyond the cult's objectives. Negawasha, 
that's N-A-G-L-O-S-K-A, and influenced the Surrealist art movement. De l'Esquant, L-E-X-I-Q-U-E, so oh, Jesus. <laughs> Subject to Le Quanzlou, Jesus. In a catalogue of the 1959 International Surrealist Exhibition, in Paris noted her important influence, Surrealist Saran Alexandrian wrote a detailed account of her life. Lovely. So that's uh, Wikipedia slash wiki slash sex magic. Okay. And there's millions of references there for everyone to wank over and go, oh, 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 did you, oh, you can't, you just made that up. All right. Someone else made it up. <laughs> yes, someone just made it up, but it wasn't me. Um, Alright, here we go. OTO. What's all that about? Uh, Carl Craner, the founder of Otipolis Orentius, claimed to have learned the techniques of sex magic from three adepts, A-D-E-P-T-S in the art, beginning in 1904. References to these secrets Kenner, that's K-E-L-L-N-E-R, and O-T-O began appearing in the obscure German mystic periodical P-R-E-I-O-D-I-C-A-L called, oh Jesus, Oil Famon, O-R-I-F-A-M-M-E, in 1912. The editors of Oil Fran announced, here's, it must be a quote here, our promises in the key which opens up all mystic and hermetic secrets, namely the techniques of sexual, sexual magic. Sexual magic. And this teaching explains without uh, exception all the secrets of Freemasonry and all the systems of religion. Okay, so that this rep, you know, you've heard of Freemasonry's and Masonry. Uh, and it's, I'm only half reading this, but I'm guessing this is what the Freemasons and all are up to, the whole sex magic shit. All right, so sex magic, that's kind of like the end of the, a lot of these cults is kind of like, oh, what's the number one? It's turned out to be sex magic, all right? That's the end, that's the end, <laughs> that's the final level. Sorry, lads, sorry for blowing the whole fucking thing. But uh, I have been looking into this for a while, and as far as I can tell, it always turns out to be fucking sex magic. <laughs> <laughs> like every single time like oh come on just just this one time just this one time don't let your fucking weird answer to life be sex magic and now nah, it's sex magic again <laughs> every fucking time all right you look and then people always get it wrong they're like oh if we just have gang bang that must make us all powerful no you're just, you're just riding each other that's not how sex magic works you fucking moron <laughs> Alright, it's to do it like Tony Robbins touches on this shit as well, uh, and so on. Uh, a lot of it is a lot of life is what you think about most and how you think about it. Alright, so if you think about money all the time positively, um, you're gonna bring a lot of money into your life. Alright, now a lot of people have a lot of money coming into life, but they don't. They're so feel so insecure about themselves that they spend it as soon as they get it. I love their head game. Right, they don't have that whole pyramid. You know the pyramids? All this fucking pyramid shit. Talked about that last episode. Uh, Alright, so that's fucking sex magic. Oh, I think I'm gonna die, man. Oh. Fucking sword, Tommy. Alright, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. I know, it's break time. Alright. Do you know how to take a mental health break or do I have to talk you through it again? I have to talk you through it again, don't I? For fuck's sake. Uh, right, here's how the mental break works. You, just, you talk, you know, problem tree and all that crack, yeah? So you just go like, oh, fucking, my mom caught me masturbating last night and I told her I was just cleaning it, but I don't think she believed me. And then my dad walked in, it was a whole fucking thing, and then the dog fucking farted and, oh, she look. Sherlock. Alright, grand. 
Oh, you got none. Don't judge me. Or do you? All right, just gonna make sure these. It's 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 a bit mad when I look at the thing in my hand and I see myself being live. It's like what's going on? All right. Uh, af pos uh, positive affirmations. You can listen to them on loop. All right, I've been talking telling you about this forever. Like, fucking recommend it to fuck. Eight hours. Positive affirmations with a bit of it plays easier. <laughs> A lot of people, it would help if you had a subwoofer because you're not going to get these low frequencies that actually resonate with the body on these high little frequency ear pads and shit. You really need a big, a reasonable size speaker to to let all these low frequencies be amplified. Listen, who knows? Who knows what I'm talking about? I spend a lot of time studying acoustics and all this all this stuff. So listen, I have to go. There's a lad talking to me outside of a job interview, so metronome M E. Now, the faster I have this This is episode ninety eight by the way, that's pretty that's pretty good, no? King of consistency, eh? I got thirteen videos from my Make Money Now series. I got twenty eight twenty seven videos from my Create Now uh, of course, you can buy uh, any instruments you want now. Uh, hats, 200 euro. Confidence hats. Uh, glasses are for sale. Underpants for sale. That's all I'm selling at the moment. Unisex t-shirts coming soon. Oh! Right, 100 BPM is a bit stressful. Let's try... Let's try something smooth. Let's try 80. I'd rather try like 70. Alright, try that. Rock your body. I'm ripping off all the lad songs. to go on to Africa to fucking study my rhythms and Egypt. Study those fucking scales. Africa! But I don't know what part of Africa the best rhythms are in. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I was afraid I have to Google what fucking tribes. Um, if I can find any of the voodoo. I was afraid to talk to some voodoo lad. Because I want the voodoo drumming. Do you know what I mean? Like the proper... And the way they do this shit in Africa is, uh, now when I say Africa, I don't mean everyone in Africa, I mean the fucking, whoever's left in the fucking, uh, tribal shit. They've got a completely different way of looking at rhythm. Um, and it's not on the grid. A lot of what makes people want to dance is delaying that beat three. It gives it that groove. Um, but then being back in time for that beat one. You gotta, you can't be fucking around with beat one, but you can fuck around with everything else. Uh, poly, what was it? Poly rhythms of ghost notes. That's the key. And a bit of implied rhythm that makes people want to clap. So you almost can't play where that clap is, so that the audience makes the audience really go, Oh shit, yeah. Mm, mm, ah, damn. Oh, I missed one. Ah, shit. watching the fuckload of Timberland last night. His master classes. Oh, he's such a genius. He's so good. He's so good. Um, yeah, he's very good. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. But yeah, so unfortunately I have to go to Africa. That's going to be... Uh, I have to get, like... Probably need to get malaria tablets and all this shite. So it's going to be shite crack. But, um... Yeah. 
study the drums, see what the crack's going on. Uh, I just want the drums and rhythms, man. Bit of chanting, we're away. It's going to be awkward as fuck eating vegan food and all that. What's your luck? It'll be on the travel show. I don't know where's the best source for getting Egyptian music, though. I'm not well up on all those things at all. But yeah, my one of my big releases is going to be heavily influenced by voodoo drumming. Um, so in these drum circles, the way a lot of them work traditionally is you got like there's like say there's two lads drumming in the tribe, like bam ba da bam ba da bam. You've got one lad banging it. Oh the yeah. um, ah, one lad banging the drum, and if the guy next to him is doing the same thing. There's jealousy and you're like, you can't, this is my beat, you don't be doing that beat, this is my beat. And he's like, fine, I'll just do the upbeat. And so on. And then it goes on and on and on. So no lad is meant to be copying the lad next to them, alright? It's like jealousy, it's like, oh you're wearing, that's fucking my, my hat, what are you doing wearing my hat? You know, it's fucking jealousy of, or whatever. Alright. Uh, but I've never been to Africa, so I don't know. This is just what musicians tell me when they're like, yeah, is it? I was in Africa, man. Fucking red arms, fly your fucking arms. I was on fucking. And then they. Yeah. Oh, you wasking and all the boys. She listen. I'm away. I'm gone. I'm off to have sex magic with myself. It turns out you can just have a wank and read a book for the sex magic shit. I, th I thought you had to do it with other people, but. Apparently, I thought you had to do it with a lot of people and a lot of other people had to be watching, but apparently. Not necessarily. If you want to know the end of the story, Alistair Crowley couldn't figure out how to summon demons and he died. <laughs> there you are. He couldn't figure it out. So, uh, he wrote a lot of books on it. He figured a lot of shit out, but he didn't quite hack that. But you look. Oh shit, 
This is sex magic, whoa, shit. This is sex magic, whoa. Cool. That's called uh, improvised synthesis, bitch. Alright. Yeah. Um, right now I'm on I'm on a weird plane because I tapped into a uh, state of flow, and it's easy to tap into a state of flow. You can do it like once a week or something, but constantly being in a state of flow is like. Fucking mental. I didn't know it was possible to be in a constant state of flow. I actually didn't know it was possible. But when your mind's so sharp, it'll cut your head off. Uh, music is my life. My wife is my mistress. Got my dick in this. Hypocrite. Four cinches. I'm running out of words to rhyme. <laughs> all right, I rub all my jokes. It's fine. We'll get over it. We'll get over it. As far as I can, like, I've very rarely found a joke that I didn't find com that wasn't completely original. Like, yep. This, eh, whatever. Who knows? I was watching Vladimir Putin last night. He's a fucking gas man. He's very, very funny. And what? Well, uh, he's kind of he's funny. It's one of those things like he's like an ano anomaly. So he's like he's like funny to watch. Like he's just like oh my god, I can't believe he did that. That's how did he get away with that? Absolute chance. Uh, it got the interviewers to like oh yes, Mr. Putin, Mr. Putin, you are very good. Thank you, Mr. Putin. It's I think it's like who was I watching? It was the interview with Financial Times, and Mr. Putin's there, fucking chill as fuck, earpiece in. And he's like, yes, I, I will crash you. <laughs> uh, Putin, are you worried about China? China, no problem. <laughs> Don't, ha, ha, China, ha, ha, ha. Oh my God, he's such a fucking alpha boss, man. You can give a fuck. A lot, of the whole, a lot of being president is just looking hard as fuck and just flexing, flexing hard. This is my impression of Putin. Well, fuck you up, bitch. <laughs> Man, this lad goes out wrestling bears. Like, what more do you want from a leader? Uh, oh, he's not fucking fair. He's not fucking it. But, yeah, you're right. He's not. I don't know what to tell you. He's not a nice guy. But uh, I definitely want Putin on my side. Like, I wouldn't want him against me if I... If, if it was a fight, like I'd rather, I'd rather have my side. Like, I'm just saying, like if I was going for a pint, if he was hanging out in the pub, like I'd make friends with him. That's all I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't be, wouldn't be picking fights with the lad. Like, hear that? Any of that Chinese money coming along? There's a uh, North Korean stuff, and oh, I won't even get into that. I won't even get into that because I don't have facts, baby. I'm just spouting off things. So, uh, great news anyway. Uh, everything yesterday I thought the world's ending and turns out I was just talking a lot of shite. So I'm very relieved. Um, but that's what happens sometimes with critical thinking. You're just like, oh no, the world's over. But the next day you wake up and everything's fine. You're like, oh, all right. That's, that's fine. So... Uh, like I said, I got a bit freaked out because it was like the golden ratio. I'm seeing this fucking everywhere. Like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, jeez, rule of thirds. I'm seeing, oh, what's going on? It's in all the art. It's all the music videos. What the fuck's going on? Music videos are so easy to make because they just keep following these same ratios. What the fuck's going on? And then I Googled it and it turns out people have been talking about this for years. I didn't discover it. It turns out everyone's just kind of copying this golden ratio. So it's fine. All right, it's fine. Uh, that's the great thing about being alive right now. Like, it's very, it's kind of very hard to have an original thought because everything's been kind of taught and written down in some way. Often they're just not very good at explaining it. So that's kind of nice. Like, do you know what I mean? It's kind of reassuring. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's kind of nice. Cause sometimes I just, I go like, oh shit, I'm like, I'm some kind of futuristic prophet lad, just because 
I was like, how's no one else see all this shit? But then I look at like ancient Egypt, Egypt and all this shit, and like, oh, fine. They're onto this shit as well. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Yeah. But um. Uh, Timberland. Anyway, he's watching hours of his masterclass. A very cheeky masterclass, an expensive one. But I won't tell you about that. Anyway, getting back on point. It seems like his uh, his answers to getting huge hits is um, following his ears, um, which I know just sounds kind of obvious, but he actually listens to his body and how his body moves. And if he's dancing, he knows it's good. If he's not dancing, he knows it's not good. And if other people are in the room are dancing, he knows it's good. If other people in the room are dancing, he knows it's not good. Uh, you can tell by his fucking body. Cause you're just fucking ki all you're trying to do is move fucking chemical shit like trying to move your body moving up for the like sound of it. That's all you're trying to do, and if it's not moving, then it's no fucking good. That's what music's about. Music's there for fucking having sex, dancing, dancing's related to sex, all these things, and you're constantly being told like, oh, animals are dirty. You're not an animal. You are a fucking animal. Um, at least. You're able to be controlled like one. Oh. Right, turn that shit off. Turn that shit off, man. Right, I'm just gonna wrap up this whole fucking sex magic thing. Let me go fuck off. Before the vibe goes, cooking vibes. Uh, let's see, let's see. Sex magic. We got. Uh, Alistair Crowley, you've got the old lad. Uh, there, there's two lads, main lads here. There's Ian Edena Cadrick. I D A Cadrock. C R A D O C K. Okay. Main articles. Uh, D I A M A N O S S M. Okay. In a letter part of the 19th century. In, sorry, excuse me. This is what happens when I get stressed. I talk too fast. Then I don't read the words properly because I've too much oxygen in my brain. Whereas if I breathe slowly, it, uh, oh God, stops my, the brain cells or whatever firing off so fast. And you can concentrate more by breathing slowly. So if I read the same thing slowly, I'll be able to read no problem. But as far as I can tell, I'm trying to process the information too fast. That's what's going on. All right. Oh, why won't you suck my dick? Why won't you? Here we go. In the latter part of the 19th century, sexual reformer Ida Kardec published several works dealing in the sacred sexuality, most notably Heavenly Bridegrooms and Psychic Weldock Alistair Crowley reviewed Heavenly Groundsweed the pages of his journal Equinox starting it was here's a quote one of the most remarkable human documents ever produced it should certainly find regular publisher book form Adonis MS claims she was the wife of an angel she hang on the wife of a fucking angel right she's high as a fucking kite anyway author does the author of Miss MS claims she was the wife of an angel how does that even work? She expounds the gracious laugh, length, sorry, of philosophy connected with this thesis. Her learning is enormous. The book of, the book is incalculable value to every student of occult matters. No magic library is complete without it. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a magic library. Jenny Mac. Am I am I really gullible or like does everyone else know this or like what the fuck's going on? <laughs> That's just what I was like yesterday. I was pretty much just like, why didn't anyone tell me there was a golden ratio? This would have made my life fucking handy as fuck. It looks like as far as I can tell, Will I Am's haircut is literally just the golden ratio in haircut form. But sure look. Instagram, see you later. Uh alright. Now we're on to Fazakel Braverly Rudolph. That's P A S C H A L Parcel. 
Beverly B E V E R L Y uh, space Radolf Rudolph. I call him Rudolph or A D O L F Rudolph. So I'll just call him Rudolph for the crack. I'll call him Red Nose for the crack. The earliest known practical teachings practical teachings of sexual magic in Western world came from the 19th century. A cultist uh, Red Rudolph Red Nose reindeer under the heading of Mysterious Elus. That's E U L I S. And it's gonna, I'm just going to read a bit of a long quote, so it's going to be a bit of a long haul, lad. You might want to boil the kettle. Here we go. We'll get through it. If a man has an intelligent and loving wife... Jesus, where is this going? <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, where are you going with this one? Uh, listen, lads. Ladies, get your pussies fucking wet. Lads, get your dicks hard. Uh, ladies... If you're after causing a bit of a snail trail on the couch there, wipe yourself off. Anyway, Rudolph, let's find out what Rudolph has read in his reindeer has to say about this. To be honest, I don't know where. He seems to be high on wine. Uh, da, da, da. The man has an intelligent, loving wife. A man, if a man has an intelligent, loving wife with whom he has complete accord, he can work out problems of how to achieve magical results by her aid. Oh shit. They are a uh, radical soul sex of series energies. The right is a prayer in all cases and most powerful that earthly beings can employ. It is best for both man and wife to act together for the achievement of the mysterious object sought. Success in a case Inquires requires the adversary of a superior woman. Ooh, shit! Oh. This is the law. Oh shit! That's in capitals. I don't know why that's in capitals. Oh, oh. So I think that just means the the woman has to be on top. I think. Success in any case requires a just A D J U V A because when any time I see this stuff, the woman's always on top in a kind of a horse riding position, suspiciously. Anyway, this is the law in Carl Capels, so that must be very important. I don't know why. Uh, a Harold or a law woman is useless for all such lofty and holy purposes. Oh. A Harold or low woman is useless for such lofty and holy purposes. And just so is a bad. Huh. I don't really understand, but okay. Impure. Jesus. Passion driven. Apology. A-P-L-O-G-Y for a man. Next sentence. The woman shall not be one who accepts rewards for compliance. C-O-M-P-L-I-N-C-E. Nor a virgin. Or under 18 years of age. Or why another's wife. Jeez, there's a lot of rules here. Okay. So, it's basically, as so far as I can make out, it's like, have sex with someone you love, is from what seems to be going on here. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, maybe that's what Rasputin got wrong, because he was riding everyone, but... Anyway. Uh, it is best for both man and wife to act together for the attainment of... Uh, mysterious object sought. Ooh. All right. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Yet must be hath no man has been still capable of intense mental, violent and affectional energy combined with perfest sect of sex of and orgasmal ability for it requires a double crisis to succeed C-R-I-S-I-S next little paragraph the entire mastery can be given in very few words they are an upper room absolute personal mental and moral cleanness both of wife man and wife and observe the law just cited during the entire term of the experiment 
49 days. Formulate, formulate the desire, formulate the desire and keep it in mind during the whole period and especially when making the Nutupov prayer, N-U-P-T-I-V prayer, during which no word may be spoken, but the thing desired be strongly thought. Rudolf the Red-Nosed Reindeer himself has greatly influenced by the work of English R-O-S-I-C-R-U-M-I-N and scholar Falgram Haining Jennings. Jesus, all right. So we're getting very fucking deep into all sorts of magic there. So, just say, okay, in practical terms, it's like if you really want an iPad, if you want a vegan Stephen hat, you just think about it while you're having sex non-stop and how you're going to get a vegan Stephen hat. <sighs> but it has to be with something you really like or something. I don't really know. I don't really know how all the ins and outs, but that's roughly, that's what Rudolph's Red Nose Reindeer has to say in the article. So... Freemasonry. Oh my god. Control F. Sex in here. Oops. Freemasons. Uh. Right. And the Freemasons seem to be big into the mystic square and compass. And G the letter G. Anyway, that's to do with the Freemasons and all the rest of it. So, yeah, it's to do with manifesting and you do a true sex. Um, there's loads of ways to manifest your dreams. You can just think about it all the time. Have a, a board. I oh, think about it all the time and so on. I don't know. Uh, if you want to do this simply, just whatever you want, just have it as your phone screensaver. All right, whatever you want. So if that's what you want, let's make it simple. Oh, sorry, I don't care. I'm going. Right, I'll have a look to see. What's Rasputin up to? Uh, what's he have to say about sex magic? Rasputin sex magic. Alright, here we go. Control F. Sex magic. Okay, here we go. Homosexuality, oh my god. Claiming that some of the monks engage in homosexuality and criticizing monific light to. Right. He became vegetarian, swore off alcohol, and prayed and sang more frequently than he had in the past. Jeez, Rasputin was a v uh, vegetarian. That is mental. Ha! What's this lad up to? Uh, he used to also used to whip himself, and he used to whip himself and go to sexual orgies. What was he up to like? Uh, having sex with some female followers or Rasputin, you're some boy. Uh, according to Rasputin's, uh, da, 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 da. oh yeah, Rasputin was big into group sex anyway, and alcohol with people and. Uh, Alright, alright, you get the idea. You get the idea. Lads who like magic are mad into sex. Or else maybe lads will do anything to have sex. Who knows what the thing is. Who knows? Right, that's the end of that. Uh, in other news, I was looking up Russia Today and it turns out Russia Today is purely run apparently to to confuse rather than inform. But then again, all kind of media is done to confuse rather than inform. Because if they informed you, you wouldn't have to fucking, you wouldn't have to go to them. Do you know what I mean? Listen, what do I know? All right, I'm out of here. I'm trying to see if there's any world news, but I can't see any world news, so we might just have to go. Oh, baby. It's time to go. Russia today is not having to laugh, not working. Um, alright, are we going? 
we talk about Rasputin, Alistair Crowley. All right, let's see what we got here. RT News. Willie Walsh to retire as, I don't know who Willie Walsh is, but he's going anyway. And some other stuff to do with football. All right, so m m there must be two m bad things going on. Because we're looking at Ireland's first baby of 2020, which is apparently news um, and so on. Okay. All right, so the world must be pretty good because they're just talking about... I don't know. There's, there's nothing like... I don't know. Two days ago, I thought there was some kind of World War Three happening. Then it turned out the media was just going, oh, World War Three is happening, but it was already over before it even began, so I don't know. So listen, right. So that's the end of that. That's how to do the sex magic and all the rest of it. It's been a pleasure. This has been episode 98. It's a bit mad. Of the Vegan Stephen Morning podcast, whatever. Uh, create now. Episode 27. Make pretty now. 13 episodes up. Alright. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Alright. Uh, life's hard and good and all the things. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I gotta go.